Well, it's been 11 years now. The last GTA game was released back in 2013. Yeah, we get it. GTA 6 is going to be released next year and we are fucking curious about it. You're bored playing GTA 5 and also all those stupid updates. So today we'll be looking at whatever updates we have on GTA 6. So let's get in. So let's start with on what platforms we can play GTA 6 on. So far, it has been confirmed that GTA 6 will be coming to PS5 and Xbox Series when it arrives in 2025. Also note that GTA 6 is going to be truly the next generation title. So officials have also confirmed that GTA 6 is currently only slated to arrive on the PS5 and Xbox Series X and won't be coming to PS4 or Xbox One when it launches in 2025, making it a current gen exclusive. Then what about PC gamers? Well, there's currently no mention of a PC launch, which might suggest it will follow a similar route to some of the previous GTA games that released on consoles first, or arriving on PC at a later date. My best bet is that PC players will have to wait until 2026 to play GTA 6. Yeah, I can feel that. Sucks. GTA 6 is taking us back to Vice City. While the original game was set in 1986, this new 2025 release is set to take place in what appears to be a modern-day setting. Vice City appears to be a part of a bigger map that will form GTA 6. This also means there will be a bigger map compared to GTA 5. The trailer has already given us a glimpse of a Vice City made prettier than ever, with a take on rural Florida that's every bit as chaotic as the real thing. During the official trailer, we were introduced to the protagonists of GTA 6, with a focus on the first GTA 6 female lead, Lucia. While there's still much we've yet to learn about her as a character, trailer gives us some hints, with her wearing prison clothes, which tells us she's clearly had some trouble with the law. Not only that, but Lucia is shown on multiple occasions with an unnamed male character, who looks set to play a main role in the next entry. While he's been unofficially referred to as both Jason and James in the past, we've not had confirmation on his name. The pair appear to share a bond, or a kind of Bonnie and Clyde-like relationship, and speak of trust as they get stuck into some crime together. I can sense Rockstar has tried to pull a love story this time, in which the couple might be dealing with crime to save themselves. What are y'all views on this? Comment down below. Rockstar has now narrowed the GTA 6 release window to fall 2025, putting to rest any rumors about a potential delay. We knew that GTA 6 would launch sometime in 2025 thanks to the game's first trailer, but now we have a slightly better idea of when to expect it. Also, Rockstar has moved all of its employees back to full-time in-office work, which signifies Rockstar 2 is working hard for GTA 6 to be released next year. Well, I am very much excited to see how does GTA 6 turns out. If you too are excited for GTA 6, hit that like button. Till then, see you next time. Peace.